welcome back to a new video. We're out here today making <laughs> New to the channel, welcome. Because if you clicked on the little thumbnail, it enticed you to click on it or whatever made you click on it. I want to say thanks and welcome to what we do out here. We make beats, uh, skateboard when it's not raining or when you can go out and go skate when it's sunny. Just lifestyle random things. I like to record stuff. So this is what we do. Today, like I said, we're making beats. And I'm not going to name the sample of what I'm sampling because I sample off of records. And I don't want YouTube to mute my audio. So this is what the sample... Hang on. This is the sample we're working with right now. And I'm going to turn this uh, metronome uh, count in off so you can hear what it is. Before we got everything started, I loaded all this stuff up and then I added a clap to it already. So this is what it sounds like with the clap. And we're gonna add, um, I have the, the kick drum right here, but here's what it sounds like with the clap. I got this uh, kick drum I'm gonna add in there. And then we're just gonna do it. First I gotta turn the metronome on because that's just the way I am. If you're wondering what I'm using to make the beats with, we're using the MPC Studio. That stands for Music Production Center, I believe. If I'm wrong, correct me, but I think that's what it's called. Abbreviation, we call it the MPC. Basically everything that I was just doing with the sample, I flipped it. I flipped the sample one more time and I reversed it. And then I played more. I played different drums over it because the drums and the high, the the vibe that I'm trying to go for is like a spooky trap sound. The way that I had it wasn't going towards a spooky trap sound. I regrouped and I made it this part. Kind of, we're getting. I added a kind of a reverb over it. I reversed the sample and I flipped it. So this is what it sounds like for right now, but I'm gonna start adding stuff to it. See where it goes. So we're gonna add some hi-hats to the drums. And then in the way that I'm gonna, gonna do it, I'm just gonna go to a plug-in and the stock sounds on the MPC. And I'm, that's what I do sometimes with my beats. I've been using the same hi-hat for the longest time and not gonna lie, it's this the stock sound from the 808 on the little disc that they give you when you get the MPC. It's the 808 kit hi-hat. I've been using this one the last seven or eight beat tapes. The way that I'm gonna do this here is I'm gonna hit shift and then re note repeat and then find how I want it. So I'm just gonna hit play and find what I want it to sound like. So that's what I do. I'm gonna play around with the hi-hat, maybe hit these buttons up here because this one right here, you can't see it because I got stickers all over my machine. I'm the only one that knows my machine because I'm the only one that uses my machine. Uh, F1 is a fourth note, F2 is an eighth note, F3 is a 1 16th, and then this is 1 32 and this is 1 64th, and you hit this and you can make it triplet. So, added the hi-hats. And this is how I make them sound different than just a basic old hi-hat. And I hit this pitch tune down. Right there. And now, I got it the way that I wanted to sound. that we're looking for and that is it I don't even know what it's called it's called the Pete Snacks white long sub F I don't know nothing about music well I know stuff I know how to play music I played the drums that's how I started making music I played the drums in the middle school band 
So I had a drum set a long time ago, but now I don't. But like reading like sheet music between like playing the piano and like C minor and D minor and F and all this stuff. I have no idea what it means. some uh, faster hi-hats in the background, not that much faster, you gotta like listen to it to hear them. So the way that I did it is, I put it on the 16th of a note, and then I put it on the 16th level, so the 16th level will make it go higher and lower, and then that's basically all I did, just like that, that's what it sounds like right here. That's all I did was... I'm not gonna go into much detail of doing the beat because it takes a minute to get everything fine-tuned and, and that would be like an hour and a half to two hour video but I'm just trying to show you a glimpse into what I do other than skateboarding t-shirts hanging out doing whatever this is another thing I like to do because we live in the state of Washington and it rains most of the time well it, when it's spring now so it's almost summer well it's April right April is gonna be May soon and next week. next week is gonna be May, and so April showers brings May flowers, so it should be getting sunny soon, and should be able to go outside and skate somewhere else other than the corner. So I just wanna say thank you for watching, thank you for liking. Um, if you wanna know more about what I do, hit that subscribe button uh, and see more depth into my life and things that I do. So you might hear this beat, in a skate video that I make you might hear this beat in like a daily video not a daily video but like a day in the life video that I make or something so or if you want to hit the links down below and follow me on the gram and other places you might hear this little beat with snippet on the gram so I want to say thank you for watching and thank you for liking and thank you for subscribing we're out here Monday and Friday so until then we're out here. Ah, sneezy. Ah.